Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to today's session. In today's session we will see how you can extract PDF form data as XML and then parse that XML using XPath or parse JSON action in Power Automate. My name is Clavin and I work as a technical consultant. You can find my blog at clavinfernandes.wordpress.com and my Twitter handle is at the rate Clavin Fernandes. So before we go into the demo in Power Automate, I want you to see the PDF form. So our form will look something like this. This is a very basic form which contains form data. If you look at this, there are fields out here. The end goal is to extract the data from these fields and update it into a SharePoint list. So I'll create an automated flow because our scenario is when a user goes ahead and uploads this form, the form data should be automatically be extracted and be stored in a SharePoint list, right? So I'll say when a file is created in a folder, I'll put in the site name, I'll select the document library where the trigger should be monitored. Next I'll go ahead and try to extract the form data. So to extract the form data I'm going to use the Mohimbi action. So I'll type in Mohimbi and I'll use the convert action. So convert document action. Here I will pass in the source file name. So MS encoded file name should work and the file content. And the output most importantly will be XML. So XML so here I'm going to add a compose action and I'll try to pass it the processed file content. I'll give my power automate or a flow the meaningful name. I'll say extract form data demo and I'll save the flow. I'll click on test. I'll click on manual trigger. I'll go back to my SharePoint and I'll try to upload a file. The file is getting uploaded and you see that my flow is running. So here you see my friends, when a file is created, I go ahead and try to convert the file into raw XML. But here you see the input and the output is not in XML, it's in Base64. So what next, uh, next I need to do? I need to go ahead and decorate the process file content as base64 to string. I need to convert it into string, right? So I'll just put in base64 to string. Click on dynamic content and I'll pass in the processed file content. I'll save it and I'll test it. So now in the compose action I have an XML. So very important when you have an XML the first thing that I do I copy the XML go to a XML validator you can search anyone on the internet. Let's use the W3 schools one for now. And I'll say check XML. So I have no errors in my XML, right? But if I copy the XML onto a notepad, here you see that the meaningful data is here. This is the field and the meaningful data is Claven. Family name text box, the meaningful data is out here. I want to extract this data. How can I extract this data in Power Automate? Power Automate itself goes ahead and provides XPath. So XPath is used to go ahead and extract meaningful data from XML. So I can again go to an online XPath tester and I can copy this XML. Now first things first, if you are new to XPath, you need to go ahead and know a few basics. If you look at this article or if you look at this code beautified tester, it goes ahead and tells you few expert test cases. In our case, let's go ahead and start with the dash forward slash. I'll say test expert and it gives me the first field out here. Next, if I want to drill into the fields, I need to go ahead and pass it the fields parameter. So let's try that. So forward slash field XPath. Now it gives me the entire body of the XML. But am I interested 
in the entire body? No, right? I'm interested in the given field. So I can go ahead and put in a forward slash and say given field text box and I'll say text xpath. So here you see now it's given giving me only a single field from the XML. But I'm interested in Claven. So how can I extract Claven from here? Remember, Claven is a text property, right? So I can use text and use a open and close circular brackets and I'll say test and here you see I get Claven. Now this is cool. I have created my XPath. How can I use this XPath in Power Automate? So I'll go back to my Power Automate. I'll click on edit. I'll add a new step. I'll again add a compose. I'll rename this compose, compose to XPath expression and here I'll create an expression so what is the expression first thing XPath what does it need it needs an XML we have the XML in the above action let me rename this as well so XML right so back to the compose action XPath XML but XML is in the form of string so I need to again convert it into XML so I'll pass it the output of the action above it good next what I need I need the XPath so what I'll do I'll add quotes I'll go back to my XPath tester and I'll copy this and I'll say OK so this looks good let's go ahead and test our flow and see if we are getting correct results so here you see my friends I'm getting Claven which is the right result but the result is within an array so what I can do I can go ahead and decorate this and get the first item out of the array so I'll say first and decorate the whole XPath formula and click on update now if I rerun my flow again if I go ahead and save and test and if I click on expression I now have Claven so the final step is to create this particular tuple or this particular extracted value into a SharePoint list. So let me go to the site contents and I have an employee list. I'll clear the list. There are like one, two, three, four tuples out here. Let's go ahead and fill in these tuples. So let's go ahead and add the create item. I'll select this site address, the list name. And here you see my friends, I have the list columns populated. So what I'll do, I'll copy the expression from the XPath expression compose action and I'll add it in the title. Right? So I have it in the title. That's good. What next? I need to extract the family name text box. So I'll go to my XPath creator and I'll just go ahead and change given name text box to family name text box I'll test the XPath that looks good I'll go back to power automate get this expression onto a notepad and start changing few things out here so I just need to change family name text box make a copy of it again next I need the address one so just go back to my notepad again put an address one so I'll copy the content from the notepad put it in the expression so I'll save it so if you look at this I'm not using the compose action I can actually get rid of this action itself and still I should get values in my SharePoint list. So I have got rid of the action and now try to go ahead and test it using the previous run. So I'll go back to my SharePoint list and here you see an item in my SharePoint list. Isn't that awesome? So within few seconds you have automated the process of extracting form data from a PDF creating the value in the SharePoint list. Now if this is not enough let's go ahead and try another way of passing XML data if you're not comfortable with XPath okay so 
till here we had the XML let's go ahead and try to find another method I some people will be comfortable with XPath but some people will not be comfortable with XPath for this is for someone who is not comfortable with XPath so I'll add an action and I'll say let's go ahead and convert this XML into JSON and then pass the JSON as you all know JSON is a key value pair so it creates less overhead and for some people JSON, working with JSON is very simple so why not go ahead and convert this XML to JSON so XML compose so I can say expression JSON what does it need it needs a string value so let me go ahead and try to convert this into an XML string so I'll say XML and then I'll say string so here my friends let me add a terminate action because now I want to terminate my flow I want to test it before the create action right so I'll say succeeded I'll rename this to XML to JSON so here let's see if flow is able to go ahead and convert my XML that I created into a JSON so if I expand this wow I have a JSON right so I'll just copy this JSON I will launch my notepad I'll paste this JSON in so if you look closely we have the exact same values of the XML text property out here and now this is not an XML this is in the form of JSON so if you have a JSON what's the easiest way to extract the JSON I can use the parse JSON action I can pass in this payload and generate a schema just remember the payload was created in the compose action above it now I can go ahead and pass it the output here now let me just add another compose action and here in the input field let me add given name text box right so if I take the given name text box I should have the value Clavin right out here so let's go ahead and save it and let's test it again so here you see if I expand the test JSON action I'm getting the whole two parameters this is not right correct it should have returned me the Clavin value so let me look at the parse JSON again so if I type in hash text I see a lot of text values but how do I know that this is associated to the given name text box there's no way to find out right but we are engineers and we like to go ahead and find a solution so let's go ahead and try to find a solution for this as well so in power automate you can go ahead and create expressions or you can go ahead and tweak the expression to get values from its parameters so I'll click on expression I'll just enter any number or digit out here a in this case I'll use the given text box property I'll get rid of the a now I don't need it and what is the next property that I need so the next property is the text property I can add a question mark open and close square brackets and I can just add single quotes and say text and I'll say ok so <clears throat> I'll save it again so remember we are hacking into the JSON parameter remember if you want to access a parameter use a question mark open and closing square brackets and pass it the name of the parameter it should return you the right value so let's go back here let's go to test JSON and here my friends you have correct value again so <clears throat> time to update the values to the list so let me quickly go ahead and remove the terminate let me go back to the create action let me remove the old parameters that I created I can just use the same trick click on expression type any number or an alphabet 
then just find the field that I'm interested in and get rid of the initial character can add a question mark I can just say hash text I need to add a single quote again now I'll say okay so again the same old trick click on expression click and type in any bracket the value that you're interested in so family name text box just remove the initial character or the alphabet that you added just add <coughs> this back and say okay so here my friends I have completed it if you look I have a single value now if I save it and if I try to run it I should have two values that is a new value should be created so I'll test it and if I go back to the employee list I should have these values so here my friends we have seen two ways to extract value from XML one using an XPath and second one by using a parse JSON action it really depends on you on which on how you want to use them for some people XPath would be simple for some people parse JSON would be the choice so I hope this session was informative and thank you for listening bye bye